India's bullet train plans are gaining speed. With Japan's help, trains travelling upwards of 300 km per hour could soon be seen ferrying passengers between Mumbai and Ahmedabad. An all-weather ally, Japan has played a crucial role in helping India in various areas through tech transfer, loans and by other means. Japan's role has been crucial in helping India lay down a web of metro rail networks across various major cities of the country. And soon, it will provide India with two proven bullet trains, the Shinkansen's E5 and E3. According to a The Japan Times report, the trains will help India test and inspect the Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail Corridor, which is currently under construction. The two train sets will be delivered in early 2026 after being fitted with inspection equipment. The equipment will be used to collect crucial operational data. As the bullet trains travel at speeds upwards of 300 km per hour, the Indian environment, especially challenges presented by high summer temperatures and dust will have to be factored in to make the necessary technological improvements to the bullet trains India will run. Special equipment on board these trains will help gather environmental data. However, India is considering the e tens to run on the track between Mumbai and Ahmedabad as the E3 and E5 are older models of the Shinkansen. The E10 series is expected to be introduced in the early 2030s but will not be ready in time for the August 2027 partial opening. The inspection of the E5 and E3 trains will help Japan fine-tune the design of the E10, the next generation of Shinkansen model that both countries plan to adopt by the early 2030s. The E5 series is a high-speed train developed by East Japan Railway and has been in service since 2011. The E5 series Shinkansen's can run up to a top speed of 320 km per hour. The E3 series is a slightly older model used mainly for mini Shinkansen services. Both are known for their aerodynamic designs, advanced safety systems and smooth ride quality. While India had earlier planned to use E5 trains for a passenger service, Delays and cost escalations led to a rethink. The donation of these trains along with decision to shift to more advanced E10 model has revived momentum in the project. The E10, also known as Alpha X, can reach speeds up to 400 km per hour and represents the cutting edge of Japanese rail technology. The Shinkansen is more than just a fast train. It's a symbol of modern engineering. Its introduction in India on the Mumbai Ahmedabad corridor marks a major step in transforming Indian railways. By using the E5 and E3 trains as inspection vehicles, India will gain hands on experience with the technology before the E10 is fully rolled out. More importantly, this collaboration also signals a long term plan to adapt the Shinkansen to Indian conditions. The trains are expected to be modified to include more luggage space and withstand harsh weather. This move aligns with India's broader rail modernization strategy under the National Rail Plan 2030. The bullet train project is largely funded by a low interest loan from Japan International Cooperation Agency or JICA covering about 80% of the cost. With repayment spread over 50 years at just 0.1% interest, the financial structure is designed to be sustainable for India. The deadline for the Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train project has been pushed back to 2030, while the project was initially expected to be completed by 2023. The project has faced delays due to land acquisition issues, the COVID pandemic and other factors. The first phase of the project, spanning 50 kilometers between Surat and Belmora, is now expected to be completed by 2027.